welcome back to our channel. Glad to have you here with us. We are coming to you with, normally we do Munch Pack, but this time they have sent us a... Cheat Pack. Cheat Pack. Now, this is the new boxes they have come out with. They've come out with a Cheat Pack, and they have also come out with a Healthy Pack. And I will be doing a review on the healthy pack as well as soon as I receive it. But I received the cheat pack first. Now, and it's packed just like the others are. If you're not familiar with Munch Pack, it is a monthly subscription. You get to pick your items. You get to pick how many items you want in your box. You can custom it, customize it. Customize is that a word? Customize it. Customize. <laughs> you can customize it to however you want and then the price is accordingly. I have a link down below. It'll get you two dollars off your order uh, if you're interested. Now we like food from all over the world so we love doing these. So if you if it's not your thing of tasting different products from other countries then this wouldn't be for you. So let's go ahead and get started. And Roxanne boxed this for us. They always give you a card in there. Tells you who boxed it and enter to win a free cheat pack you know this so there's all right there's a contest you can mm -hmm. always enter if you want all right this first item is from bean fields and it's pico de gallo this is health health something i can't read that you can't read health it. something where it's from it says that doesn't make sense Health, yeah. No, they're all going to say that. So it's, um, th these don't tell you then. Yeah, they don't tell you the country. Usually this little sticker, yeah. we have said it before. Since this so, is a health pack, basically. Yeah, well, it's a cheater's pack. Yeah. It's half healthy, half not. So, Munch Pack, if you're watching, you need to make this box say where they came from because it doesn't say what country. It just says health something which we cannot read. So, anyway. Health conscious. Health conscious. Okay, there you go. Health conscious. The other one was more readable. And then readable. each of them say something different. This was indulgent. So, in, in kind. Okay. So, so they, it just says health conscious on all of them. It doesn't tell us the so country. This is, so, yeah, so that one will be a little bit healthy. Yeah. But it's Pico de Gallo. But we yeah. still, Munch Pack, we would like to know still <clears throat> Like where double it came sticker. From. Yeah. That would be my suggestion is put where it's from. You know, you have one that says where it's from, then the other one that says it's in Dolphin. Right. Or... So there's a little tip for you, Munch Pack. But these are, these have, yeah, they're Pico de Gallo, which is right up his alley because yeah. he doesn't not like them. So he's going to be a good sport today and do it. These have four grams of fiber and four grams of protein. So they're a good healthy snack. So let's go ahead and see what that's like. It smells all right. Yeah, it smells all right. Let's see. Ooh, they're different. Look at they're They're like it's whole grain or, well, they're bean, remember? Yeah, so that's a lot of. The ingredients are the main, they're all beans. It's black beans, navy beans, brown rice, Got a lot of beans. Good fiber. <laughs> so there you go. So let's take one and eat one. It's not too bad. Yeah. For pico de gallo, you really can't taste the pico. No. It's a little salty. They got salt on them. But they're really good. Yeah, those are really good. Mm -hmm. And I can actually, now that it's starting to go away, I can taste the bean. You can taste the black beans. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, that was a thumbs up. Yeah, All right, and I'm going to trying to do cleanse my palate. These kind of things first. All right. All right, the next one is called Pop Popped Chickpeas. Must be chickpea something. Mm -hmm. Zesty ranch flavor, non-GMO, baked green pea and chickpea puffs. 100 calories for this bag. Let's see. Doesn't have much of an odor. Smell to it. No, that's... It looks kind of green. It's green in color. 
It is puppy, like a Cheeto. The consistency of like a Cheeto. Mm -hmm. The puff Cheetos. I don't know about that aftertaste. Do you taste it? Can't put my finger on it. It's not bad. I mean, I know what it is. It's the ranch dressing that's on oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ranch seasoning. Yeah. I'm going, wait a minute. That tastes like, well, yeah, it tastes like ranch. And he even said it. Zesty ranch. So Those are good. Mm -hmm. There you go. That was good. Oh, boy. Oh, that says, you want to read it first? This is flavored infused piso pizots 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 or pizots. There's two premium bowls. Virginia artesian peanuts, New York dill, dill pickle. pickle. <laughs> Vaguely taste. Oh, they're 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 actually they're peanuts. Mm -hmm. And, and dill pickle flavor. Mm -hmm. There you go. It does. Amazingly, it does taste a lot like a pickle. It really does. You get that. Peanuts that taste like a pickle. Yeah. It's, wow, they really did a good job on making that peanut taste just like a pickle. That's that amazing. was good. It's amazing. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That was good. So, there you go. All right, we got some crackers. I think we've seen these before and reviewed these before. Now, this one is, I guess because it's not on the healthier side, they did put the sticker that says these are from Turkey. The others all said health conscious mm -hmm. so instead far. of a country on it. Then so. we'll get into some different ones. Here is the cracker. And I'm not mistaken, I do like these because we've had these before. Mine just broke, but it's just yes. a little cracker. Yes, we've had them. It's just mm -hmm. a cracker. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just you a cracker. You could put a little bit of something on it, jam, jelly, peanut butter, whatever you want. Just a cracker, but it's a good cracker. All right. That's a good cracker. cracker. What's up next? This would be Papiro. And it says it's indulgent. It's a latte nude Papiro. Crunchy biscuit stick filled with sweet chocolate cream. That's what they look like. Where are they from? Or are they? It doesn't say, it just says indulgent. Hmm. Oh, it's got a bag. Chocolate filled stick. Huh. There you go. really good. The That's chocolate good. is really good chocolate. It's a good rich chocolate. That is, yes, definite thumbs up. Mm -hmm. okay. Candies. Okay. We've done this one before too. More indulgent. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, this is a True Lulu. That's brand True Lulu. And it's a little gummy candy and it says soft and chewy strawberry so let's go ahead and I think we've done these before as mm -hmm. well and if I remember they're really good mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep there you go. oh yeah oh man mm. wow Have a slight sugar coating on the outside. 
and it tastes amazing. Almost like a creamsicle. Is that right? A creamsicle? It is. It yeah, is the really dream good. sickle, or, but only a strawberry one instead of orange. Mm-hmm. That's really good. No, okay. we did next. We did. Or, yeah. Oh, okay. Eiffel. Bye bye. Okay, bonbons. Indulgent is what it says again. It looks like that. Let's see, it says. Wow, that was good. Chewy, <laughs> chewy and sweet candies with fruity watermelon flavor yep all right so green in color sugar coated a little on the outside mm -hmm. not real chewy they're kind of hard I was just you read my mind I was gonna say it could stand to be a little bit Soft. softer. It's a little too hard of a chew. Once you get it going, mm -hmm. the heat of your mouth and chewing it makes well, it a lot a softer. Strong, that's got a strong uh, watermelon. Watermelon. You can really taste that watermelon. Wow. I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was the only thing was just for it to be a little bit softer, but very other good. Other than that, and real watermelony. Wow, that was awesome. Okay. Honey Zinger, gluten-free, organic. Ooh, organic. Organic vanilla and chocolate flavored waffle. There you go. And it just says health conscious. Conscious on it. We've had several of these in the past of these little wafer looking type cookies. Let's go ahead and it looks like this. Out. It smells good. What kind? It's vanilla, organic vanilla and chocolate. That's weird. <laughs> yep, not very sweet. Not compared to those other sweet candies we just ate. It's but good. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good waffle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a thumbs up. I like that. Now these we've tried before. They're the powder. They're powdered sugared, and it says they're a cannoli chip. Looks like this. You guys may remember that one. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't care for them last yeah, time. Yeah, I think they were bland. So we shall see. It will refresh my memory. Got a lot of powdered sugar on it. It's good, but I like them. The powdered sugar makes is what makes it. Mm -hmm. I think if you didn't put in, if they didn't put any powdered sugar on these, they would be so bland. Yeah. The powdered sugar is what makes it, makes the cookie. So. I got I got to make sure it was that good. Mm -hmm. For the powdered sugar's <laughs> sake. <huh? laughs> so there you go on that one. So that's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right. Last but not least. Last item. This is called the complete cookie. And it's a healthy cookie. Ooh, snickerdoodle. It's one of his favorite cookies ever, snickerdoodle. Baked nutrition has 10 grams of fiber, no dairy, no egg, no soy, no, M, no, no GMOs, and vegan. And 16 grams of protein. Look at that bad boy. What's on the back here? All right. Tells all of the facts on the back. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Cut that open. Yeah, it's got, you can oh my read gosh. the facts yeah. there. The facts. 16, gram, uh, 16 grams of protein per cookie. 
10 grams of fiber per cookie, zero trans fat, non-GMO, no soy, no dairy, no egg, vegan, kosher, fresh baked, no high fructose corn sweeteners, no cholesterol, no artificial sweeteners, no sugar alcohols, and substantive, uh, sustainable palm oil. That's one healthy cookie. <laughs> smells. Something I could probably eat 10 of. Snickerdoodly, but yeah. Yeah, it does smell like a snickerdoodle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a healthy cookie, we can have 10 each. <laughs> it is a huge, it is huge, mm -hmm. it's thick, thick, it's soft, look how soft that is. One thing I don't, about cookies, I do not like hard, crunchy cookies. I like my cookies to be soft, and this is very soft. It's not a real snickerdoodly taste, it's got a different taste to it. I don't know what that is. Do you think that's maple or, I don't know, maple or cinnamon, I know, mm -hmm. obviously, definitely. A little bit of a sugar coating, a sugar and cinnamon coating on top of the cookie. That's an almondy flavor. You know that artificial almond flavor? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm tasting. That is really good. It's good. Oh, that yeah. is an awesome cookie. Yeah. And thank you, Cheek Pack, for making it healthy for me. Yeah. <clears throat> that was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is awesome. Yep. I'd give you two, three, four thumbs if I had them all up there. Yeah, that's very good. So, that is the end of it. That's our Cheat Pack. Thank you, Roxanne, for... Mm -hmm filling our box up for us with all these wonderful goodies. We truly appreciate it. You guys check out the link down below if you're interested in it. Uh, and when you check out their sites, check out the Healthy Pack, which is just nothing but healthy products. This one was a cheat pack, a little bit of each. And uh, I like this one. Yeah. And it's Roxanne, send that cookie again. <laughs> and another pack. <laughs> All right, guys, remember to let go, let God, no guts, no glory, and... Mr. That is. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.